Building strength and changing the way your body looks and feels is a long-term commitment. You cannot be short-sighted. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the five stages of strength training. Our goal is to bridge the gap between performance and aesthetics. Whether you're a beginner athlete, a seasoned athlete, you've been doing this for years, these five stages of strength training are gonna change your fitness routine. Strength training stage number one is gonna be the basics. Before we start building strength, it's crucial to lay a solid foundation. Developing a solid foundation sets the stage. Once you've mastered the proper form, you can gradually start to increase the weight without compromising your safety or the effectiveness of the exercises. We tell everyone at the gym all of the time, master the technique before you worry about the weight. Yes, throwing the weight around is the super fun part, but if we don't have the basics and we don't have the technique, we aren't gonna be able to throw the weight around. In stage number one, you'll primarily work with body weight exercises, resistance bands, and lighter weights. The goal of this stage is to build a strong mind-muscle connection and improve your movement patterns. It's all about perfecting your form so you can avoid injuries and maximize your gains. By taking the time to prioritize your technique, you're gonna establish good habits that are gonna carry you through on your fitness journey. This is gonna be from the beginning and it's gonna set you up for long-term success as you continue to get stronger and incorporate more and more weight. So from day one, set the stage and focus on the basics. Focus on mastering your technique so that you can continue building in weight as we talk about these other stages. Stage number two is gonna be muscular endurance. Once you've set the foundation, you've taken the time to get the hang of the technique, now we can start to build the muscular endurance. Muscular endurance is an essential component of strength training and it refers to the ability of your muscles to perform repetitive contraction over an extended period of time without fatigue. By improving muscular endurance, you can perform more sets and more reps before fatiguing, which is gonna be particularly important when it comes to achieving greater training volume. High intensity circuits, supersets, and drop sets are excellent techniques to challenge your muscles. Remember, the key here is to push your limits and train your muscles to sustain prolonged periods of work. The other thing muscular endurance is gonna do is it's gonna help promote and strengthen your smaller stabilizing muscles. This is not only gonna help you with those heavier compound lifts, but it's also gonna help you with the aesthetics so you have a well-rounded figure and appearance, but also that you have the balanced muscle groups so you aren't gonna suffer from injuries being it due to imbalances that maybe one side is stronger than the other, but that's what this muscular endurance is gonna help train. During the muscular endurance phase, you're likely increasing your repetitions and probably decreasing your weight. You're working on getting those muscles to contract for that extended period of time and continue to increase your training volume so that you can continue getting stronger. This stage also allows us to make progress using lighter loads before we move on to the heavier weights. Stage three, hypertrophy, increased muscle size and strength. Hypertrophy refers to an increase in muscle size. It involves moderate to heavy weights with controlled movements and shorter rest periods. The goal of hypertrophy is to stimulate muscle growth and increase your overall strength and muscle size. Hypertrophy plays a significant role in your body's appearance. It helps you achieve that more toned, muscular, defined physique that you're looking for. Along with that comes increased muscle size, which also comes with increased muscle strength. We have performance and aesthetics. If you are looking to shape your body and change your physique, hypertrophy training is gonna be what's for you. It's gonna help us with that aesthetic look. If you're looking for maximal strength when it comes to performance, that's gonna lead us into stage number four. And now a word from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Element. Did you know that when you sweat, the primary electrolyte lost is sodium? When sodium's not replaced, it's common to experience symptoms such as muscle fatigue and cramps. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. It can help prevent and eliminate muscle cramps, fatigue, headaches, sleeplessness, and other symptoms related to electrolyte deficiency. Element is formulated to help everyone with their electrolyte needs. That includes moms, dads, fitness enthusiasts, athletes, and it's perfectly suited for those of you on a keto or low carb diet. Right now, Element is offering my subscribers, that's you all, a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash Christy. This deal is only available through my link, so make sure you click below at D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Christy. That's K-R-I-S-C-I. Now, back to the video. Stage number four of strength training is maximum strength. 
lifting heavier weights. In this stage, you'll focus on heavy compound lifts and power lifting movements like the squat, deadlift, and bench press. Your training intensity will be high with fewer repetitions and longer rest periods. In this stage, you're gonna witness significant strength gains. It's important to make sure that you are prioritizing progressive overload during this stage, which means you're gonna gradually increase the weights over time. And by the end of this stage, you'll be amazed at how far you've come. When we're training for maximal strength, we're gonna really need to challenge ourselves. The load is gonna be significantly higher and the rep ranges is gonna be significantly lower. Proper technique, proper position and form should always be a priority. But if you want to get stronger, you are gonna have to challenge yourself with the weight. If the reps and sets are easy, you're not gonna stimulate your body to change and adapt. When we're talking maximal strength and we're talking challenging yourself, we're talking an eight out of 10 on a scale of perceived effort or higher. When we talk about perceived effort, it's not how many reps we're doing, it's how many more reps we could be doing. And it's giving us a gauge of how close to failure we are. When we're looking to build maximal strength, we are towing that line of getting very, very close to failure with the amount of load that we're lifting. Stage five, maintenance and progressive variation. Maintenance is super important for maintaining all of the strength gains that you've made. You worked hard to gain the strength and now we wanna maintain it and continue to build off of it. During maintenance, you continue to challenge yourself by incorporating progressive variations into your workouts. This could mean implementing new exercises, changing your rep schemes, or experimenting with different styles of training. During the maintenance stage, you can continue to challenge yourself by incorporating progressive variations into your workouts. This could mean implementing new exercises, changing your rep schemes, or experimenting with new and different movements. When it comes to building strength, it's super important to have the patience to work through each one of these stages to allow for long-term success and progress. It can be hard to be patient. A lot of times we want to see those strength gains happen overnight and they don't happen overnight. I've been working on building strength for 10 plus years and it is a rewarding journey, but it's a process. On top of these five stages of strength building, the two most important things are gonna be consistency and dedication. We run a program called Performance Aesthetics. If you wanna change the way you look and feel, we invite you to join our community. This program focuses on compound movements and high volume accessories. Each block is four weeks long. Then we change to all new movements and all new progressions. If you wanna learn more about this Performance Aesthetics program and our community, we'll put the link below. If you have any questions or topics you'd like this to cover in a future video, put them in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video and you can apply these five stages of strength building to be the strongest, healthiest, happiest version of yourself and smash your goals. Don't forget, smash the like button and have a great day.